Hi, in this video, we will discuss exponents and radicals. Exponents and radicals appear frequently in computations and mathematical expressions. In order to simplify a complicated expression, we may need to use certain properties of exponents and radicals. Now here are some important ones. Exponent laws. x to the n times x to the m equals x to the m plus n x to the m divided by x to the n equals x to the m minus n. x to the m to the n equals x to the m times n. x times y all to the n equals x to the n times y to the n. Radical laws. a times b all to the nth root equals a to the nth root times b to the nth root a divided by b all to the nth root equals a to the nth root divided by b to the nth root. a to the nth root to the mth root equals a to the n times mth root. In our first example, we will evaluate 2 cubed times 2 squared plus cube root of 27 plus root 18. Our solution will start by first simplifying the expressions. We get a times 4 from 2 cubed times 2 squared and cubed root of 3 cubed from cubed root of 27 and root 9 times 2 from root 18. Then we have 32 plus 3 since the cube and cube root cancels out. We can also express 9 as the square of 3. Then we can use one of the radical laws to come up with root 3 squared times 2. So, we can take out the 3 squared and end up with 3 times root 2. So, in conclusion, our answer will be 35 plus 3 root 2. In our second example, we have 3a b squared c times 2a squared b divided by c cubed all to the power of negative 2. We would begin our solution by first getting rid of the negative exponent and end up with c cubed divided by 2a squared b all to the power of 2. Then we use another exponent law to expand the square and get c to the power of 6 divided by 2 squared times a to the power of 4 times b squared. Now we will multiply them using exponent laws to come up with 3ab squared times c to the power of 7 all divided by 4 times a to the power of 4 times b squared. Our last step will be to simplify and get a result of 3 times c to the power of 7 divided by 4 times a cubed. So, in conclusion, our answer will be 3c to the power of 7 divided by 4a cubed. In our third and last example, we will simplify the expression 2 times a to the power of 4 divided by 3 times b to the power of 5 all to the power of 2. Our solution will begin by first writing the expression as 2 over 3 squared times a to the power of 4 divided by b to the power of 5 all squared. Expanding the square and getting 4 divided by 9 times a to the power of 8 divided by b to the power of 10. Then by multiplying them together we get 4 times a to the power of 8 divided by 9 times b to the power of 10. So in conclusion our answer will be 4 times a to the power of 8 divided by 9 times b to the power of 10. We have gone over some basic properties of exponents and radicals that we will need to know in order to solve questions. However, we did not mention all of them. There are other properties, some of which are a combination of the basic ones. Also, keep in mind, there are many different ways to simplify an algebraic expression. You should feel free to use any of the properties when simplifying an expression. Now we move on to some practice questions. 